But there are tons of fish in there as well. So this should be a really good location to put our fish trap. Oh, that was an insane net. Oh, that was, oh! But this convict cichlid is beautiful. Oh, I just barely caught a glimpse of this, guys. Look at that. Wait, what the hell is that? Welcome back to Rob's Aquatics, guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing a new canal today. We're going to be netting and trapping it to try to see if we could catch some exotic aquarium fish. Now, I pulled up to this canal and I saw a ton of cichlids in here. I'm guessing right now that they're probably jewel cichlids. We have not fished it yet, so I don't know, but before we get into today's video guys please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications because i'm enjoying the air conditioning while i still can but as soon as i get outside guys i'm going to melt like if you don't see any more you might not even see this video there's a real risk of me getting a heat stroke it feels like 110 degrees outside at this canal there is literally no shade it is just straight sun and I mean, you could probably just tell by the way it looks. It's hot, it's like blistering out. So we're going to be down there without the boots, without with as little clothing as I can get away with because it is really hot. We're going to go down there. I've already got a trap. I got some cat food. You already know the drill. We're gonna get a trap set and then start netting around to see what fish are in this canal. I've never fished it before. I'm gonna try to be quick with it because it is just so hot. I've been sweating since I left the gym this morning because it's just so hot. Like even the car gets hot with the AC blown just because the sun is so hot. It's just so hot. So we're going to do our best to try to catch some fish out of here. I'll show you guys the canal right now. Ew. As soon as I step out the car, it's like an instant heat wave. But this canal looks so good. And if you guys look right there, literally as soon as we step outside the car, there are tons of fish and there's literally fish all over this canal. It's pretty shallow, so it's pretty prime for fishing. So we just need to walk along here and figure out which is the best location to actually set a fish trap i'll probably walk along without you guys just real quick to see if i could find something i like i see a couple deep little pools with fish in it already that make good spots but i'm going to also check out this little tunnel over here but we're definitely going to be netting all throughout this canal to try to see if we could pull up some fish the odds we don't catch a fish are like literally slim to none just because there are so many fish in here which species i have no idea but regardless we're gonna do our best to find out get super deep and murky over on this side by the tunnel but if you guys look right there i see some even more fish so i think regardless of where we place this trap guys oh what is that i believe that could be a largemouth bass although maybe not no that's probably a bass but everywhere i'm looking i'm seeing cichlids that looks like a jaguar over here to the left immediately there's even more fish there's literally fish everywhere in this canal so I think regardless, we'll be able to catch something, but I think right there, guys, in one of these pockets is where we're placing the trap, just because it's a lot more accessible. I've got the trap baited up, but as you can see, guys, I am oily right now in the sweat already. So we're not gonna waste too much more time. We're gonna get down there, get this trap set. I've got the boots on just because I think I'm probably gonna have to walk through the canal to actually fish it. So right here, guys, is where we're gonna be setting the trap. You can see from all the surface agitation, there are so many fish right here. I see a few cichlids down there as well. So this should be a really good location to put our fish trap. And now that that's set, we're either gonna head down this way and start netting or head down that way and start netting so we don't actually disturb the fish trap, but they're already all over it. So it shouldn't take too long to actually catch some fish with that. All there's left to do is to just pick up our net and get right into it. So come down this way. Oh, look, look at all the fish. Ooh, how deep is this actually? Canals always have like a secret depth to them because they're never actually as deep as they look because there's usually such a thick substrate layer. Any takers? No? Okay. <laughs> That's annoying. But right, let's see here. Wow, so far three nets and no fish, even though there's like so many fish in here. Let's keep making our way down the canal, guys. See if we could find any fish. It's gonna be hard. To sneak up on him. Ooh, okay. All right, we already caught some fish. Oh, oh, he's jumping. Jukes, jukes. So first species out of this new canal, guys, is a little molly. Nothing too crazy. Obviously, we catch these things literally everywhere. We're gonna put him back, but I think I saw two more little fish in here. And those seem to be mollies as well. I've seen a ton of cichlids in here, but they're a lot bigger and a lot faster, so they'll probably end up getting spooked before I could even get to them. Oh, that was an insane net. Oh, that was, oh! <laughs> what the? See, okay, see what I mean? I told you there were cichlids in here. That huge net had a fat jaguar cichlid hiding under it. I hope I recorded that. Guys, look at this. <laughs> hey, buddy. You thought you were so sneaky. 
Now they do have teeth. I don't know. If, oh, those teeth are sharp. So I'm not going to hold them by the teeth or the mouth. But huge Jaguar Guapote cichlid, guys. Very, very, very pretty. Stammering because brain hurts. But super cool fish. We're just going to let him go back to doing what he's doing. I knew I saw a few of those lurking around some rocks earlier. But let's get the rest of this in the net and then start inspecting. See if there's any other fish lurking in here. These plants are so insanely healthy. They'd look great in a fish tank. But so far, one jaguar, one molly, nothing too crazy. Just returning this back to the environment. And we're going to keep working our way down the canal, see what else we could catch. I'm pretty sure I saw some jewel cichlids as well, but time will tell. Guys, I'm not your enemy. I'm your friend. I just want to show the world how good you look. Like, come on. I'm like, literally your best friend. Okay, I think it's just me, honestly. I think it's just my single hand netting skills that are getting in the way here. Oh, okay. Some little live bears look to be some mollies that just slipped through. Not too crazy. I have some good feelings about the back side of this right here. Oh, nice. Look at that, guys. I think it's, it's definitely a cichlid. Which kind, I'm not too sure yet. Oh, wait, no, no, I definitely know what this is. This is a convict cichlid. That's really cool. Not like the most colorful little uh, exotic here, but still an exotic cichlid nonetheless. So we're actually gonna get him in a keeper bucket real quick. He's showing some great colors, some breeding colors. So there should be more of these guys in here as well. Gonna keep the keeper bucket right here. Actually, put it right here, just so it's right next to us. But this convict cichlid is beautiful. We're gonna get him in the keeper bucket and something is biting my toe. I probably kicked around a few fire ants, so there's probably a fire ant in my boot. All right, all right. See, it's actually a good thing that we're stirring up the water this much because now they can't see us coming. Right, right? I think that's how it works. Did we already pull this bunch of weeds up or is this a new bunch of weeds? Where's the one that? This might be the one that I pulled up. I'm not seeing any fish fall into the bottom of the net. I don't have very high hopes. But we'll check this regardless. Let's see. Any fish? Nope. No <laughs> fish in this net. These guys are smart. I don't know who created these fish, but they're smart. These guys are government drones. That's all it is. Some more mosquito fish. Where are all the sick? I literally saw. You guys saw them too. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. That's such an L. That is such an L. <laughs> oh. I guess I got water boots now. But we literally saw so many cichlids and I've only caught a handful. Like you'd think that's be the majority of what we're catching. Low key the water in the boots feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but we're gonna go down the other way because I want to catch a lot more cichlids. I've seen, we seen them, right? Like, come on. The, I'm not gonna lie guys, the fish are winning right now, but enough messing around. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. All right, we're bringing out the bigger net. We're bringing out the bigger net. Targets acquired, let's get it done. Also guys, when it's super hot out, that's when I tend to get really silly because I get the lyrics, look at them swim away. They know. Not everybody down here swim away though. Oh, big cichlid. Come here. Come here. Hey guys, I just wanna, I just wanna have fun. Oh my God. <laughs> big net. Okay, let's see if we got any in this. That Jaguar must have been a fluke or something. Come on. Guys, seriously? All right, all right, respect, respect. Look at them all swim away. But we're gonna come down like a hawk. Like a hawk. No, why doesn't this net adjust? Oh, oh, Ah, <laughs> oh, Lane. It's a little tilapia, nothing crazy. We're gonna just put him back. But if I come over the bank, I think we'll have a better chance of catching them. Just cause they literally just won't see me. So, just like this, nothing in that net, I don't think. Nope. Okay, okay. Fair play, fair play. Here. Yeah. Let's take a couple rips right now. All right, big weed pile. Luckily, we got like this pretty clean area to sort through right here. Very nice and calm, very nice and calm. Oh! Oh, I just barely caught a glimpse of this, guys. Look at that. A nice little garami. That's awesome. Anybody else in here? Any cichlids? That's like probably my target species right now, honestly. I just want to catch a bunch of cichlids. No? All right. Well, Forever hold your peace. We caught a really nice little garami right here, guys. So we're gonna get him in the keeper bucket. Join your little buddy, the convict cichlid right here, pal. Boop, there you go. No, it can't be. There's no way it's about to rain right now. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> Thunder rumbles, but I'll take it because that means it's cooler out, which means I'll have an easier time fishing. Guys, this place is kicking my butt. You'd think such a small canal would mean easier fishing because the fish don't have as many places to hide, but no, no, that's not the case at all. I literally see so many fish. I see some right now. Oh, well, I saw, okay, I see one, I see one. Let's go. Oh, okay, so we did catch some fish. Not the ones we're looking for, but man. Okay, rain could be a good thing. You know, rain, rain could be good, right? Oh, look at all the amount of fish over here, guys, look. Oh, oh. let's go. Yes, finally. A fish worth catching. We got a little African cichlid here, guys. Nothing too crazy, but nonetheless, a really cool exotic. They look great under this cloudy overcast. But we'll get him in the bucket right there. So we've only caught three keepers so far. And I've been here for about an hour. Not too good of a pace. Not too good of a pace. But listen, we're going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. These things are so elusive, man. I swear, any other canal, I would have just pulled up a cichlid. But these ones are so smart, I don't get it. I really, really, really hope the trap clutches up for us, guys. I see some cichlids down there. See some mollies and other fish. There's a whole lot of fish by the trap, so hopefully we catch a lot of fish out of the trap, because I'm not doing too hot. <laughs> I'm not doing too good at all. There's a whole lot of cichlids right here. Let's see, which way are they going? Dude, <laughs> I'm gonna have a stroke. What? Let's see. Oh, here we see what I mean. I told you they're literally they're literally right in front of my face and I just can't catch a single one of them. We got a little garami again, beautiful little fish. And then we caught another nice little cichlid right here. Another little jaguar. I told you guys they're literally right in front of my face. Catching them is just such a different story in this canal. This canal, they're just so elusive, but we're going to put the jaguar back. He'll have fun. And we'll hold on to this garami. But guys, literally, <laughs> that's been the story of all day today. The fish, we see them, right? We might even hit them with the net. They just so happen to find their way out of the net before I pull it up. But fourth keeper of the day, put them in there with the other garami and the two cichlids. They don't want to make it easy on me. They really don't. Not today, at least. But this video is going to be about perseverance, all right? We're going to keep fishing. We're going to fish until I can't fish anymore. If I'm not face down in the canal by the end of this, then we didn't try. We're going to go back to that tactic of just underhand, right under here. Oh, we reached pretty far back. Come on, come on. There's got to be a fish in there. You're lying. You're literally lying. There's got to be a fish. That was such a good net. I felt it. I felt it in my soul. What? <laughs> Dude, this is bull. This is complete bull. We literally had such a good net just now. All right, come on now. Come on. No fish. Are you serious? There's got to be a fish in here, right? I'm not, I'm not going crazy. You're crazy. What? Not even a little fry. Like, not even a little mosquito fish. You couldn't have given me that. There's no way. That was such a good net. Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks, dude. <laughs> a little tiny baby molly. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. You know what? I'm not, I'm not accepting that. Oh, please. Like, this has crawfish written all over it. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm convinced these fish are drones. They're, these fish have to be working for the government, with the government, for the government. Oh, I think that might be a baby blue jill. What are you? Yeah. See what I mean? Look, guys. The feds, the feds are in on this. We got a little blue Joe right here. Very tiny little baby. See, I know, I knew it. I, I could have sworn there had to be baby fish in here. One just popped right over there. And look, look at all the fish swimming away. <laughs> you guys have no idea how frustrating this is. They be getting cooked out in the sun. And this is all we're catching. Little tiny fish. I mean, better than nothing, we're, we, I just dropped them back in the water. Like we have no reason to keep a bluegill, but. It's only really frustrating when I literally can see, like I can see hundreds, if not thousands of fish throughout the day. And I can only catch a few for one reason or another. There's none left in this little net. It's cool. You know what? It's fine. Was that a shrimp? That, yep. Look, there's even shrimp. We've only caught one. You would think we'd catch these by the tons and we only caught one. Guys, you know, I, I don't like to complain, but what can I do? You know? What is there to do? We're gonna take a handful more nets and then we're gonna check the trap because I cannot sustain this kind of abuse, okay guys? I cannot deal with this. This is too much, too much for me. That's it. Let's check the fish trap. <laughs> oh my God. The keeper bucket's right here. I'm gonna grab this 
net. We're going to do a few nets around the trap itself just because my ego is hurt. And, oh, okay. So, okay. I could calm down a little bit. We did catch a few fish in it. I could see, but just because little fish, my ego is a little hurt. We're going to do a couple nets around the trap. See if we can catch any fish out of here. Nothing notable in this one. I just, saw so many cichlids, so many cichlids just swimming away. You know what, let's pull up the trap. <laughs> Enough lollygagging. Daddy needs to catch himself some fish, okay? <laughs> and please don't unsubscribe because I refer to myself as daddy. But I am your father. I'm gonna get my footing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've never failed so hard in my life. <laughs> I was like, let me get my footing and I instantly slip. Oh God, it's just one of those days, guys. You know, as humans, we just slip, we just slip on the side of the mud. Okay, you know, it's a very human thing. But we got our trap out of the water. I didn't even see what fish are in here yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see an African cichlid, thank God, please. Thank God. Oh, I see an Oscar. Guys, please out in the middle. Oh, Okay, we have not caught one of these yet. A little spotted tilapia, he could go back. Let's see what else we got in here. I see little African cichlid, cool. Oh, see, I told you. I knew I saw him. We got some jewel cichlids in here. This is a very pretty one. We're gonna put him back. Oh, man. Oh, another African cichlid. Ooh, hey, buddy. Hey. I think as soon as they get like bigger, they kind of get munched low key because I usually catch smaller guys for the most part. I do catch big ones every now and then. But we got another little fishy, little African cichlid. Beautiful. Jewel. Oh, beautiful jewel cichlid. That guy is a stunner right there. We're going to put him back in the water though. Let's see what else. Oh, another little African cichlid right here. Nothing too, too crazy, but cool regardless. And right here, guys. First time in a long time I've caught an Oscar cichlid. Very, very pretty. We're going to put him in the bucket. I heard some flopping. What are you? Wait, what the hell is that? What on earth are you? Guys, I literally don't even know what cichlid this is. That is weird. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put him in the bucket. I, I have no clue. I'm, I have no idea. I'm not even gonna try to guess. But right here, we got another little garami. Awesome, put him in the bucket. A bigger African cichlid, beautiful. Okay, so we kind of redeemed ourselves with a fish trap. Let's get our hands down in here. What do we got here? Tilapia and a jewel cichlid, not crazy, cool. Put him back. Oh, nice. Another little garami, beautiful fish. Boom. Another little African cichlid. You can see these guys from like a mile away. Their color is so good and my voice cracked because I'm just malfunctioning. Beautiful jewel cichlid right here. What is that? The feds. It's the government. They're after me. <laughs> we got a beautiful jewel cichlid right here. Put him in there. Any other cool fishes? So overall guys, not sure if I'm ever coming to this location again. And I feel like I need to redeem myself and catch something really cool. Because not only did I get punked by the canal, but I also didn't catch enough cool fish to show you guys. We did have some cool catches. You know, we did catch a, a few cool cichlids. All right. It wasn't a complete L. Like this canal did have a few cool fish, but I'm feeling like running back the clown loach spot. We got to do something cool. We got to do something cool. This was not enough. But regardless, that's all the fish out of the fish trap. We're going to get them on air and in the car. And then we'll probably bring them to the house. Maybe throw them in that mystery tow. Maybe we drain that down soon to redeem ourselves, guys. Comment down below. Please like for pity. Pity me, please. Today's been a rough day. Ever since I woke up, I did not sleep well. I literally slept like three hours. And then I got beat down by the sun. So, God. All right, let's go home. It's the next day. And this is where we're gonna be throwing those catches. If you guys look, there's some fish mo moving around down there. I just saw a huge grommy. Oh, I still see him. The glare is messing it up, but there's a lot of fish in there. We're definitely gonna drain it down at some point, but. Oh, look at him. Look at him, he's huge. You guys might be able to see him down there. He's white, but there's a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of fish. Everything's doing super well in the tub. So that's where all the new catches are going to be going. And guys, that sucks. <laughs> like. In my opinion. Let's see if we could sneak on some fish in here. Usually as soon as I approach this, they dip. A lot of fish movement down in there. So I bet everybody's doing good. We're gonna take all our catches right here and we're just gonna dump them in, forget this ever happened. You know, we could do so much better. But we also have this tub right here that we could start throwing stuff into. Same kind of scenario as the water hyacinth. But yesterday, not my day. Right now, 
Still not feeling it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. We will post better stuff coming down the line. It was just not my day. It just was not my day. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.